Hey, what's going on, y'all? So welcome back to another video. Now, this time around, I'm going to be doing another tutorial on the Move AI. I did another test yesterday. So with that being said, what I did was I took the four videos inside DaVinci Resolve and just synced them all together because I was doing this outside and there are a lot of kids playing around. So whenever she was clapping above her head, it was a little bit out of sync. So I just put all the clips in here and then re-exported it out into another file. All right, so first thing we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to have to rename these folders. Now, I'm not going to use the automatic uh, naming tool because there's really only two. So I'm going to go to the cam01 right now and let me see what, which one this is. All right, so this is the calibration right here. So as you can see, 558 megabytes, and I can probably just close to the Vinci Resolve now because we no longer need that. And this is Cam01, so I'll rename this as Cam01 Calibration because what I'm going to do is just copy and paste it, you know, in the different folders. So rename, copy, go back. I'm going to go to Cam2, and I think it's this one, 560 megs. Rename, and I'm just going to change this to a 2. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this because it's pretty much the same thing for the rest of the folders here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename the other file as take01. And this should be cam4. So we're in camera four right now. Let's go to cam3, copy and paste it here. And let's move up. I'm now going to go to Move AI. So in my previous video, people were asking me, is this out? This is not out yet. This is only beta invite only. So you're going to have to contact them. So I'm already signed in. And as you can see, these are all my previous takes and previous tests. So we're going to start a brand new test, brand new project. So you can kind of see really where to go from there. Okay, so we're going to click on new project right here. And we're going to title this 27 Feb because this is when we shot this. I'm gonna save this project. And now we're going to create a new session. Click session, and I'm gonna go 27 Feb punch. And I'm gonna choose GoPro Hero 10 4K, because I shot this at 4K, 120 frames per second. We had four cameras, and we shot this outdoors. And the area is pretty small. So I'm gonna choose small right here. So now that we have our new session, um, we are going to now upload all of our video files right here. And as you can see right here is the file name should start with cam something and take, and that's what we pretty much did. So I will go right here. You can see cam01, calibration, cam01, take. So I will drag all of these folders and drag it here. Now, depending on your internet speed, this could take a minute. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. Okay, so once our videos have been uploaded to move that AI, it is time to create a calibration. So from the page, as you can see right here, we have all the takes now. We're gonna go up to the calibration and double click or just click it. You can change the name right here if you want. I'm gonna name it Punch Calibration. We are going to create a new actor profile. So create a new actor profile. We're gonna change this to Ashley. And then actor height in meters is 1.0, 1 1.602. And then for the calibration auto sync video, since we did kind of sync this all up and resolve, all the cameras should be around the same time. So I'm gonna look at the first clap start time. I'm gonna open this up in VLC right now. So there's our first one. So I would say about two seconds about four seconds and it will just make it five. So zero for the first clap, zero, two, zero, zero, five. So the first clap is two seconds. The last one is around five. The calibration process, now we're going to look at that video again. We're going to start with her actually going to the clap again, which is two seconds. And then at the very end, I'm just going to cut it off around 39 seconds, let's say. So two, zero, zero, two, 30, oh, zero, 39. Okay, and then after that, all we have to do is save and run. All right, so what we'll do next is go ahead and check out our calibration. I'll double click this recent project and I'm gonna click on the session right here. And you're now gonna see that we have this punch calibration. We have the status. Looks like the calibration quality is excellent. And let's see the camera layout real quick. 
looks pretty good. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this sync video right here so I can kind of see the preview. I'm gonna make this bigger here. And as you can see, that looks pretty good on all across the board. Again, let me go ahead and reiterate this. Whenever you have the talent clapping, go ahead and have that clap all the way up here. But like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, if you still have any issues as far as syncing this, go ahead and take it to an NLE, go ahead and sync them all up, and then just export the clips one by one, which I did here because it was outside and you had a bunch of kids right here making a lot of noise. So I had to sync this manually like I showed y'all in the beginning. With that being said, we are actually ready to create our take. And to do that, we just have to go to take right here and we're gonna choose the camera one, camera two, camera three, and camera four. I'll go ahead and save this here, press okay. And I'm gonna create a new scene and this is gonna be take punch and I'll just pretty much use the same thing here. Take punch one. There's only one actor in here, prop type is none. Again, auto sync videos. We're gonna look at that video clip now. Okay, so we have the clip open and we're gonna go to that take. So cam one take and I'm gonna open this up. Again, I sync this up in Resolve, so it should be good. So we're gonna look for that first clap. There's the first one. I'm gonna say two seconds again. And then four seconds again, five. So we'll go back zero, zero, two, zero, zero, five. And for the action start time, I'm gonna go zero, zero, two from the first clap. And after that, I'm gonna go back to this and just take a look and see where we want it to stop. And we'll just go with maybe 35 seconds is okay. I'll just do 36, zero, zero, or zero, three, six. And that's it, I'm going to save this. All right, and then we are going to go ahead and choose the rig that we want this on. We will go ahead and do a meta human for now, and then we'll do the mannequin as well. So this is what we're gonna be doing this for now. And then I'm gonna click run. Now this is gonna take, I think an hour to two hours again. So I'm gonna pause this video because again, this is still in beta. It's gonna get faster. I was told, so just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, what's going on y'all? So welcome back. Now our take, our first take just finished actually got an email which is pretty nice by the way i don't know if i mentioned it whenever you're done whenever something is finished in move ai you're gonna get an email letting you know which is pretty awesome uh, with that being said we have our take now right here it's called take punch one it's already done and i can actually look at this preview right now if i click on result preview now i'll make this bigger right here and this is our take right here with four cameras t pose and this is looking pretty darn good considering there's only four cameras now as you can see i didn't turn on the finger movements because my plan is i am going to eventually get this into iclone to add the finger and hand gestures now right now i am still trying to figure out how to do that because as y'all saw you can only do it in a uniform mannequin and a couple other things but i'm going to eventually convert this into iclone so i can add those finger tracking this looks pretty good man considering i mean this is no joke like the move the move that she was doing that's some pretty high power stuff and again recording with four cameras with no markers it's just bananas okay so what we'll do now is actually download this and remember we exported this to a meta human and now i'm going to download it and then import it in unreal engine 5 the new version preview 1 i'm going to go ahead and go to download the retargeted version of this and then all we have to do is import it Okay, so I just copied and pasted it in the same folder. I will now minimize this move AI. We no longer need it. We are in Unreal Engine 5 preview. Let's go ahead and add a meta human in here. I'll go to Quixel Bridge. I have a pre-downloaded one, so I'll just go to that. I think I got to log in. So let me log in real quick. And you should see my meta humans right now. And I have Bernice right here. I will just go ahead and add Bernice in. Now, a lot of people are having problems with Bridge right now. Honestly, my best recommendation to you is just uninstall and reinstall it from fresh. Uh, I'll do a fresh install or reinstall of bridge. Okay, and I'll minimize this now. We should be back. And what I'll do is I'll go to the menu and folder, Bernice. And I'm just going to drag it here. You can drag it wherever you want. But basically, I'm going to go I'm going to go back to that folder and I'm just going to drag and drop it there. I'm going to minimize and for this one, I am going to pick the skeleton, the metahuman base skill, just like so. And make sure we have animation length, 60, sample rate, and then we will import. 
And as you can see, it's already right here, the animation sequence. We didn't have to do any retargeting or anything like that because Move AI is using the base scale for MetaHumans. So I will double click Bernice right now and go to her body. Double click her body right now. And let's take a look, see what's going on in here. Show retargeting options. We're gonna change this to animation for the pelvis. And I'm going to change everything to retargeting skeleton. And save that. And I'm going to minimize it. I'm gonna go back, drag her in the scene. And then I'm gonna create a new sequence. Click on her, add her to the blueprint or the sequence. I'm gonna delete her metahuman control reg, track, animation, and type in punch. Now, as you can see, make this kind of bigger here. If I press play, now she's gonna be animating like Ashley did that day. That is pretty darn impressive. I can tell you this right now, raw, this is raw. I mean, I showed you how it was done from like the beginning of time. This is pretty incredible. I mean, I cannot wait for this to come out. It is still in beta. Let me go ahead and reiterate this one more time. This is still in beta. Um, it looks like it's bugged. I can't move her. This is still in beta, but I can tell you right now, this is only going to get better from here. Look at this. Look at the feed contact. To For it to do this without having any motion capture suit, only using four cameras. This is bananas, guys. And please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have a suit right now that you're using, look at this data right now and let me know what you think. Because this is crazy. And I guess what I can do is I'll show you the take side by side so you can kind of see it, kind of just on the left side here. And what's crazy about it is she actually had a mask on and eyeglasses and she asked if she could take it off as far as the glasses. I'm like, no, leave it on. I kind of want to see if this is going to work, you know, and as far as her mask is the same way. And yeah, I think it did a pretty darn good job. So this is actually her actual performance. This is really slippery right there. And you can actually hear those kids in the background as, you know, being kids. So that's why I kind of had to redo it and resolve as far as the syncing. But man, let's go get a camera in there. This is, this is like my third test with a Move AI. Um, and it's pretty incredible. <laughs> I am super excited. Oh, shoot. I am super excited about this this technology here and again there's no price yet i know people are always are asking me right now about the price point i am not sure how much the actual um the actual software is gonna be or the access to the software uh we're just gonna have to wait but uh they are telling me that it's going to be affordable that's pretty much it this is just another tutorial video on how you can kind of use move ai uh, with an Unreal Engine 5 Preview 1 MetaHumans. So this is the brand new version. And again, I can I can fix those. I can fix those penetrations on the arm really easy. If you all have any questions, let me know. And if you want to help out the shadow, please do subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year. I am at 50,000 right now, halfway there. I would truly appreciate it if you guys help out. Peace out.